हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वे डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन पेंटिंग द रिबिन ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट स्टार्ट एलिस एंड बॉब हैव वॉट अ रिबन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एन पार्ट्स नाउ दे वुड वॉन्ट टू पेंट इट फर्स्ट एलिस विल पेंट एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द रिबिन इन टू वन ऑफ एन कलर्स फॉर ईच पार्ट शी कैन चूज इट्स कलर आर्बिट्री देन बॉब विल चूज एट मोस्ट के पार्ट्स ऑफ द रिबिन एंड रीपेंट दम इन टू द सेम कलर He chooses the affected parts and color arbitrarily. Bob would like all parts to have the same color. However, Alice thinks that this is too dull, so she wants to paint the ribbon in such a way that Bob cannot make all parts have the same color. Is it possible to paint the ribbon in such a way? Let's check. So we are given the input as T, the number of test cases. N, M, and K, number of parts, number of colors, and number of parts Bob can repaint respectively. We need to print yes if Alice can paint the ribbon so that Bob cannot make all the parts have same color. Otherwise, print no. So we can print yes or no in every case. So let's first understand the question. The question says that suppose I have a ribbon. and my ribbon is divided into five different parts so these are the five different parts and i can color the parts with different number of colors so suppose i can color with two colors so i have two colors here let's take one of them to be yellow so Let's take this green one first, as it is a dark one, so it will be clearly visible. So suppose I color these parts with green, and let's choose my another color, which I took yellow. So let's fill this portion with yellow color. Now Alice has done her job. Now what Bob wants to do is, Bob wants to make all the parts of the same color, which means if there are two yellow, so if there are two yellow colors, then Bob would like to convert them to green as well so that all five are green, or else he wants to convert. All three green to yellow, so that the whole strip is yellow. Now, Bob can repaint how many k? At most k parts. So, if I am given, Bob can repaint at most one part. So he can repaint any one part. Suppose he repaints this part. So he does this part yellow. still i am left with two parts which are green so bob cannot convert the whole ribbon to the same color hence what we will output here yes if alice can paint the ribbon so bob cannot make all parts have the same color so bob cannot paint have the same color so we print here yes now suppose let's this be the color green again now suppose what i have is i have two chances which means bob has k parts of the ribbon to be repaint so i have k equal to 2 here now if i have k equal to 2 what i can do i can repaint this one i can repaint this one hence my whole strip will become green so this is possible in case if i have five parts two colors and two repaint options so two parts to be repaint and two parts are enough for me because 
only two parts were on different colors hence in this case we have put no so i hope you all understand this intuition now let's look at how to approach for the solution so in case of 111 it's definitely a no because you have one part if this one part is colored red suppose then you do not need to repaint as all its part have the same color it is only one part so it will have the same color now 511 so in case of 511 you have five parts and you have only one color so number of parts here is not the constraint because you have only one color and hence whole strip will be of the same color hence we output no in this case in case of 5 to 1 what you have is you have a strip of 5 so here you can repaint with two colors so one is this color and other is the dotted one now we have only one chance so one part of the ribbon can be repaint into the same color so i am repainting it into this color still this one is left hence we will output yes we need to output yes if all the parts are not having the same color remember this cannot make all parts have the same color then the output yes now in another case it is same but we have two parts to be recolored so one part i have already recolored another part i can choose this one too and recolor it so in this case we will output no in case of 553 now you have five different colors so if this is blue red yellow purple orange and i have three chances if i convert three to red still one blue will be left so what we understood from this case is if we have n parts m colors then how many maximum parts can be colored with the same color is n divide by m take the integer division in python we take the integer division like this so i have taken like that and then you need to add the remainder from the two suppose i have 5 divided by 2 so 5 divided by 2 gives me 2 here and 5 modulus 2 is equal to 0 or not so if it is not equal to 0 i will add this quantity so this is n and this is m so if it is not equal to 0 then it will give me 1 otherwise it would give me 0 so 5 modulus 2 is not equal to 0 it gives me 1 2 plus 1 i have three parts maximum to be colored with the same color and if i do 5 minus 3 i have two parts minimum now i have two parts to be colored and i have k as 2 so in that case which is this one i will output no and if i have two parts to be colored and i have only one color then in that case i will output yes so simply the code is if i divide n by m and n modulus m is not equal to 0 i add both of these which means if i do 5 divide by 2 in that case plus 5 modulus 2 
not equal to plus 5 modulus 2 not equal to 0. So this is where in the case full division is not done and remainder is still left. So if remainder is left I will add 1 to it otherwise I would add 0 and we will compare this quantity with n we would subtract it from n which means 5 here so 5 minus 3 is 2 if 2 is less than equal to k where my k is 1 now this is not the case so we return yes if it is true then we return no if k is true so i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching